I've been testing Pixel Cut for the past few weeks, and honestly, I get why it's loved by over 2 million people. But is it actually worth the hype? Let's be real. Most of us have that one friend posting product shots on Instagram that look way too professional. That's probably Pixel Cut at work. So what is this thing exactly? PixelCut is an AI-powered photo editor designed to make anyone look like they know what they're doing. Think training wheels for photo editing, but ones that actually work. The standout feature everyone raves about is the background removal. And I'll be straight with you, it's genuinely impressive. I threw everything at it. Jewelry with intricate details, hair that usually makes other apps cry, even my cat. Most of the time, it nails it in seconds. But here's where it gets interesting. They've got this AI background generator that lets you drop your products into completely new scenes. Professional studio setups, outdoor environments, abstract designs. For e-commerce sellers, this is basically a golden ticket. Now, here's what nobody tells you about the pricing. The free version exists, but it's pretty limited. You get watermarks, lower resolution exports, and basic features. Most people end up on Pixel Cut Pro, which runs 8 bucks a month build yearly. There's also Pro Plus at 24 a month and Max at 48 a month. Here's what surprised me though. The learning curve is practically non-existent. I handed my phone to my mom and she was removing backgrounds like a pro within minutes. But there's a catch. If you're a serious photo editor, Pixel Cut is designed for quick wins, not detailed work. If you need precise control or complex compositing, you're gonna hit the ceiling fast. The app works great for e-commerce sellers, social media managers, and anyone who needs decent looking visuals without learning complicated software. But if you're already comfortable with Photoshop, Pixel Cut might feel limiting. My honest take, Pixel Cut does exactly what it promises, which is rare. It's not gonna replace professional photo editing software, but it's not trying to. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment, I'm always curious what real users think.